Hello, it's Susie from Active Seniors here with another quick exercise tip. Now it's been a very long time since I've shared with you a tip that's focused around one of my favorite exercises, which is a calf raise. So I thought today I'll give you a few variations that I want you to consider integrating into your routine. It's really good for ankle health and obviously for the calf strength itself. Now, in case you haven't seen any of my tips previously, I'm gonna give you just three reasons why I think those calf muscles are really important and that you should train them um, using these or similar exercises. Now the first is because those calf muscles are extremely important. They form the main part of our spring function and assist us with making walking easier, whether that be walking on a flat, walking up a hill, walking upstairs. The second reason, they help us so much in our day-to-day -day activities. If you're a little bit vertically challenged like myself, you'll know those calf muscles come in really handy when you're trying to reach things that are a bit higher, whether they be in cupboards that are designed for taller people or getting the clothes off the line. They save our shoulders, allow us to get up, and having good strength in those muscles means that it allows our ankles to be nice and stable for balance. Now the third reason, which is probably the reason that most people don't realize, is that when we exercise our calf muscles, if we have any fluid in the lower part of our legs, any swelling at all, it helps to clear the swelling out of that area by pumping it up through our lymphatic system. So enough about that, let's get straight into the exercise. Now, for those of you who haven't seen a calf raise before, we're gonna be raising our heels up onto our toes. Now, when we're doing the basic calf raise, we wanna make sure that the ankles stay in a straight line, that we're not letting the ankles roll out or in to either side. Now the variation that I think is really great to try that a lot of people don't try enough of is changing the position and the angle of the feet. So we're gonna do three different positions. We're gonna start with that first neutral position and it is a good idea to have some balance support nearby. I've got the wall behind me, um, but ideally I'd probably be standing facing the other direction, but I want you to see the foot position changes I'm about to do so that I've got light support available to help me with my balance or alternatively having a chair. Now I'm gonna go up into that first position, hold the top position and really focus on getting as high as I can, slowly control it coming down. Then I'm gonna move both of the heels out making sure I'm not getting any pain in my knees, but I'm gonna make myself pigeon toed for a second, raise up, pause, control on the way back down, and now I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna push the toes out to the side, and I'm gonna raise up onto the toes in this position. And then I'm gonna start that sequence again. So middle, control, pigeon toes, up, control, and then finally, toes pointing out. And this way we're just training the ankle in different positions, which helps especially with balance. When we're strong in different positions, it means that as our foot moves into an unstable area, you might be walking on a footpath that has a little uneven section or on an oval where there's a little divot in the ground. It gives the muscles the strength to support the body in regaining balance in these situations. Now, how many calf raises? Well, I'd probably do 100 a day if I could, but realistically, of this sequence here, if three different movements are equal to one repetition, then anywhere between three and five repetitions of that sequence before having a break and repeating it again. So I hope you've enjoyed today's tip. Stay safe, stay active, and I'll see you soon for another quick exercise tip.